Hello everybody, Jay Leone back today. I'm um, gonna do another review for you guys. Um, today is Feb February, January 17th, 2014. Um, it is a Friday, it's my day off. A few things I want to get out of the way before we get into the review and what we're looking at. Um, as you all may know, first of all, if you're in the Illinois, Chicagoland area, there is now a smoking ban out here, or a vaping ban. I'm vaping indoor at bars, restaurants, and public places, which is just utter bullshit, if you ask me. Um, just heard this news a couple days ago when it happened, and I'm pissed about it, as a lot of vapors should be, because there's no need to ban vaping indoors. Um, it, it affects no one. The research is out there. Stop saying there's no research. The research is out there. Vaping is not harmful by standards, okay? That's all there is to it. Do your research. Stop using the kids and flavors and all this other bullshit you guys are coming up with to ban something that is helping people. Helping millions of people quit smoking, saving their lives. What is wrong with the freaking government? What is wrong with these people? Especially that motherfucker, excuse my language in this video, Rob Emanuel, who started this damn ban in Illinois was the one who got this thing rolling and made it build snowball, basically snowball itself for nothing. We're snowballing, banning something that's helping people. No sense at all. I just want to get that out of the way. Those are my two cents. I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way about this. I know New York had it happen to them too. So hopefully it does snowball to your areas. Um, just keep on vaping and, you know, don't let these people stop you from doing what you love doing. That's all I got to say. So we got that out of the way. Another thing I'm going to get out of the way real quick is uh, videos. They are going to be uh, uploaded a little differently now. I might be able to do more videos because my work hours have changed. And I'm going to be uh, off on the weekends now like a normal person, which I'm glad about. And I'll have more time then to do videos. So videos might come... I might do them on the weekend, and then I might upload them during the week. I don't know. Kind of see how it goes. just want to give you guys a heads up. But that's the little updates I have. And otherwise, we have a long, long overdue review on a mechanical mod. The Chiu Clone. Yeah, you can tell everybody. Go ahead and tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Well, you can tell everybody. So, everybody, um, we are looking at the Chiyu clone, long, long overdue. Um, you probably know this thing has been out for a long, long time. I think I got it uh, a little over a month ago, and I just didn't get around to review it. I saw it sitting there on the shelf, and I was like, God, I have to put a video up for that. I have to put a video up for that. So sure enough, I was like, okay, today's the day I'll put the video up for it, because I have some more and more exciting stuff. Even more, more, even more exciting stuff to look at next week, um, including one giveaway next week, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, definitely going to be doing it next week. I'm waiting on something I want to give away to get here. Um, when that's in, I'm going to make a video, and we're going to do a giveaway. Um, there's some things you'll have to do, but it's going to be a good giveaway, followed by a good review, <laughs> followed by the week after that. There will actually be another giveaway, because I'm looking at my shelf, and I just see mods that just don't get used, and my juice shelf, or juice is not getting used, and I feel bad. I, I see that stuff sitting there, and I, I, I'm not that kind of guy that can just collect and collect and collect and just let it sit there. I can't do that. I feel like if I'm not using it, I should either be selling it or giving it away to somebody who can use it. So, two giveaways. One next week, and then one a couple weeks after that, there'll be another one, which will be the bigger giveaway, but... Nonetheless, I'm going to try to do some for you guys, since you guys are watching these videos um, and, you know, give me feedback. And I like that, so I'm going to give you guys a little treat. But anyways, the Chiyu clone, the Chiyu clone, the Chiyu clone, um, where did I get it? I actually got this from Hong Kong. Uh, not Fast Tech. Uh, one of those uh, Alibaba things where you order five of something and then you get it for a better deal. That kind of thing. That's me and my buddy. We ordered five. Five. 
Chi Hu clones, and uh, we took two, and then some of his friends took some, one of my friends took some, you know, just so we can. It came out relatively affordable. It was 20 bucks each for these. Um, that's with shipping for each of us. I'm not going to link Alibaba, because um, you all know about Alibaba. Alibaba. Um, but I will link, um, I think Fast Tech has them and whatnot. A lot of people have them. These are, I guess, old news at the moment. But we'll talk about it, and I'll tell you what I think about this little clone here. Um, I'm not going to break down the camera. We're going to do this view the rest of the day because I just don't feel like doing an uppy closey bit with it. Um, we have vape and we'll just talk about it. I have my Trident clone on here and uh, I have the air holes. I have, like, I have them cut off almost all the way. I don't know if that's going to come up. Let's see if the camera wants to work today. No. But anyways, I have the biggest holes and I kind of have them slid over so there's barely any air coming through. So it's a really stiff draw so I can do mouth hits. Because I don't feel like doing lung hits right now. Sometimes I don't feel like getting that punch in my lung. But I keep rambling. Um, so yeah, I have my Trident clone on here. And it's working relatively well. Got my uh, Tranquility Trauma from Moon Mountain here. Um... Two nano coils, dual nano coils in here, and it just vapes well. Very satisfying vape. Um, but let me take this guy off here. I hate fidgeting with this thing. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's a little fidgety. Okay. Let me get that guy off. All right. So. This is the Chiyu clone. We're going to actually do some up close focusing. One second. Okay. So you can see you got your Chi Yu dragon. That's like some type of dragon or whatever the hell it is that they put on there. Their logo for the Chi Yu. Um, it's a shiny, shiny mod. Let's break it down here. Take my. Uh, I'm in KE battery out. I love those. That are like sucks them though. Take the switch off here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take this off. I don't want to focus. Um, so then this is your top cap right here. It's got your standard 510 connection. You got some airflow channels cut out in there. You can see those cut cut outs right there. Um, and then on the bottom. I don't know what these pins are. Ah, I should have looked it up. I always do this. I have yet to find out what they are. Um, if they're stainless steel pins, uh, usually they're brass or copper or silver plated. And I know they're not. I don't think they're silver plated. I'll put it in the description when I find out what it exactly is. But I'll tell you right now, it hits fine. It hits just as hard. And um, these little pins here or the center pin comes out just screws out you can see them here it's two pins um, you got one here the bottom one which is going to be your battery rattle adjustment so you turn that in and out and that will adjust your battery rattle and then your other one is going to be your adjustable 510 so this longer one here is what you're adjusting to make connection with your eddies um, that's the top cap and the top cap adjustments you have in there. You also have like a little piece of Durlin in there. So that just basically just screws right in. It's a little fidgety, like I said, because you got to get that. So, for instance, let's put on a, a trident. And I'm going to mention this real quick. Let me get a atomizer that seems to give me issues. The 510 connection on there. It might be aluminum threading or aluminum in there or something because it's very, very fine and it just doesn't catch any, not anything, catch a lot of things. Like this is my Eigel L. Let me put that on here. Let's see what ha Let me get the focus back up. Okay. So you can see here, I haven't even screwed it in and it just sits right in there and I got juice all over this. Holy crap. Give me a second. What the hell? I haven't used this atomizer in a while. 
And it's definitely a custard that's on here, but whatever. So, you're putting this on, and it just sits right in. The threads don't catch. It just, you can't catch it. Just, boom. There's no turning. So, that happens with a lot of things. It happened with my brush, and also it won't thread on here. So, the threads on it pour, pour threads down there. So, that's a huge negative, because a lot of things you're going to want to work on there are not going to work on there. So that's that, and nice smell like custard. Ugh. Okay, so you make your adjustments. Um, let's get something that does work. Uh, here we go. Trident. So let's see, the trident screws on there just fine. Well, yeah, pretty good. It's not smooth, smooth, but it screws on. Then you make your adjustment here. Tighten it down. And we'll loosen the battery one because I know I need to have that out. So that's tight, and that's ready to go. So we got that set up. I got an itch right here, just won't go away. <laughs> God. Let's go all the way down now to the button. To the button. The button. You have the, uh, again, that dragon. It says, what does it say? Version 2013. Str trial of the Mojo. It's a trial on there. It's so shiny, it might not pick up, but. S T R I L E of Mojo, version 2013. Um, that's what the button says on it. That's how the button looks. Um, it's got a locking ring right here. It's got a little bit of. It sticks out a little bit so you can grip it, which is you know it's nice. Obviously, not a bad locking ring by any means. The button. I keep saying the button. I'm saying weird. Um, the button. The bu button is pretty good. It's a little bit of a firm press, you can see here. Got a little clickiness to it. Um, again, there's your post. I don't know what that's made of. You got a vent hole down there also. Um, this screw here, when I first got it, I thought it was an adjustment screw for battery rattle. It's not. That needs to be tightened up because when I first got it, the button kept coming undone. So if this thing is loose, the button would just fall out on you. It happened to me a billion times at the beginning. So I tightened it down with a flathead and it hasn't come loose since. Um, not going to tear it apart, but it's a basic spring in there. Um, it's a pretty firm spring, but overall it works well. Um, and then you have your tubes. I don't, they give you three tubes. Now, um, my kick does not fit in here. The kick fits very loosely. There's, <laughs> kick fits very loosely inside of this mod. Uh, so I'm going to say it doesn't take a kick. I actually, I tried it with kick too, so doesn't take a kick. Here is the uh, battery tube, the main battery tube, I should say, the big one. Again, the dragon. And the serial number right there, which is, uh, see that, 0171. And it's got some Chinese lettering on there. I don't know what that is. Both tubes are just really shiny tubes. Pop a battery in here real quick. It's so MNKE. 1500 milliamp, 30 amp battery, um, and then this is where the fiddling is going to come in now. The threads on this, by the way, are pretty good. It's smooth. I did forget to talk about some. We'll talk about it in a minute here. See, and that pins out too much, but really quick while I have it here. Take the autofocus off again and show you this airflow control. It is wonky as all hell. This is the airflow control. I'll take my Addy off real quick. I'm sorry. Okay, take the airflow control here. Look at this guy. Um, it's this ring here, and it's I, it's held in by O-rings, and it's very tight when you try to turn it. And the airflow holes are actually actually it's very. You don't even turn it. You kind of just push it up because I don't think it's supposed to do that, but it does do that on mine. I'll show you the airflow rings. See those tiny little holes there? There's three of them. Yeah, right there. And you basically are supposed to turn this ring, and uh, I mean it's easier when it's on a mod. So let me get it on a mod. Okay, so I got the top cap on um, the mod now, and we are gonna take a look at this airflow control ring just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Um, so yeah, it is. You're supposed to turn it. See now it's tight. Sometimes it's tight. Sometimes it's loose. And you gotta, 
it's just a pain to adjust. Sometimes you just really you just slide it up, and uh, it will cover up those holes. Where are they? God, this is a lot more of a pain, really, to mess with. As you see, how I'm struggling with it right now. Oof, ow. Ah, uh, yeah. It's just wonky. I mean, you can see now I have it adjusted up, and now there's a gap, and it's not an even gap. It's like lopsided. So it's just, and then see now it's tur it closes fine, but when you want to loosen it, you're just gonna take your top cap off. It's a pain in the butt. I don't mess with it because I don't need it on rebuildables. So that is that. I don't know if I touched on this yet, but it does have a third tube, which. I tried to put them all together to use a kick, and that didn't work, so I wanted to use it with a uh, K-Fun, my K-Fun, which is polished also, and a kick, and I thought that would be pretty cool, it'd look nice, it would work nice, obviously. Kick doesn't fit in there, it's too loose, it just wobbles around, tubes are uh, a little too big for it. The third tube is for using it in 18500 mode. Because you can use this in 18500, 18650, and I believe 18350. And 18350, yeah, you could do it in 18350 also. A lot of tubes somewhere I lost it. I never use my mods usually in 18350 or 500. I always use it in 18650. So then you adjust your post here. I'm going to put this back on. I said it's wonky with rattle, so you take it off. Drop your uh, trident on the floor. Um, just this pin again. And when you tighten it down, you want to tighten it down by here, this area, instead of the airflow flow control ring, because you really are just tightening down the airflow control. You're not tightening down the top cap. So, it's a little too... Drop number two. Holy, holy shnikes. So, like I said, tighten it up from the top. No rattle, that's the locking ring, and let's see if she fires. Fires fine. It's a little wonky to set up. Like I said, the airflow, airflow control ring, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. But overall, it's a decent mod, minus some quirks with the 510 connection, and now all Eddie's fitting the airflow control airflow control ring the button is not my style just because it's a little firm so it's not my favorite I tend to gravitate towards a lesser of a press uh, especially on a bottom bottom firing mod I can't talk holy um, I like to put my pinky down here and you know fire like that and this is just a little too firm it's a little too much effort on my pinky to do that so I end up holding it like this and I'm not a fan of holding my mod like this Even though it works, I'm just not a fan of holding it like that. And when you do hold it like this, it's also very slidey, very slidey. I don't know why I buy slidey things and polish things. I don't like them. I guess I like to look, but I, that's all just too much for me. But anyways, that's the basis of the Chiyu clone. Overall, I said, like I said, it's a decent mechanical clone. I've seen better, though. 20 25 bucks. I'll post some links below. I'll stay tuned next week. Next week, next week for the giveaway. Uh, yes, just want to give you guys a heads up. Stay tuned next week, and uh, hope you all enjoyed this review. Hope some of this information was helpful. Till next time, live well and be bomb.